Hello everyone, this is I guess the last part of, the, of this series. I'm going to show you that uh, how things work. First, from host1, uh, I try to ping, for example, host4. So I go to host1, I'm always using the Cisco Packet Tracer, um, go to desktop, command prompt, and from here I'm going to ping 172.17.0.1. And uh, you see, you see now there is a reply. So there is a reply coming from 172.17.0.1. Uh, we can go to another host. We can try another host, for example, and ping, uh, let's say, 172.17.0.3. I'm pinging this host, host 6. Let's see if this works. Right. Okay, so we have to wait a little bit. So this is a reply. Uh, again, I'm going to try to ping, for example, 10.11.11.1. What is this? Uh, I guess this is the web server. Uh, does it work? So we have to wait also some time before getting the reply. You see? So it is working. I repeat again. It's working. Um, from also, I'm going to ping the FTP server. The FTP server is, uh, we'll see how it works. Uh, very fast, I guess. Okay, request timeout. So we have to wait a little bit before seeing the reply. Uh, I go now to host 6. From host 6, I will do the same thing. I try to ping, let's say, host uh, 3. So here I'm going to ping 172.16.0.3. Does it work? Uh, yeah, we have to wait as a All right, this is a reply. Now I'm going to ping the web server 11.11.1. 11 uh, it's very fast now. And then I ping the uh, FTP server. I will ping the FTP server to show you that you can ping whatever you want. Uh, well, can we ping our the external web server? Let's try. External web server. Does it work? 2020.1. Now the external web server. Here we're going from internal network to outside. S let's see if this works. Okay, so request timeout. Timeout. Well, there is a reply. Very good. Now it is replying, so it is replying. Same thing, I would like to ping. I become very excited, so I'm going to ping to three, right? So from uh, host uh, six, I think, I'll try to ping the email server on the outside. There is a reply, okay? Now everything is working fine so far. Um, I go, let's say, to host uh, two. From host two, I try to access the web server on 10.11.11.1. Yeah, it works, right? So this is my DMZ example. What about if I try to access the outside web server? Uh, well, this is uh, 20, so 2 to 12. I'm just using some public IP address, I guess. The owner of these IP addresses will not be angry. So, okay, so I'm just accessing this my web page um, hosted on this uh, web server. That's uh, that's excellent. So I can try from the, the other internal uh, segment. I try to access the uh, web server on the DMZ zone, 10.11.11.1, right? It works fine. Um, I will try also to access the web server on 212.20.20.1 yeah same thing it's working now what about if i use https right does it work go right it works fine and then i think i use https also https and connect to 10.11.11.1 uh, does it go right so https works fine also now, w what I try to do, I, I try to send an email. For example, I am on um, I am on this host. Let's say host five. 
I'm on host 5 um, I try to send an email I'm not sure if I configure the email well um, I try to compose an email to um, host uh, 3 host 3 at dev what is the domain name for the second internet? dev.com right dev.com development.com hi the message will be hello this is a test now I, I will send this to house 3 um, does it send? well normally um, sent it has been sent right successfully now in order to read this email I should go to host uh, host 4 let me just check um, uh, sorry receive do you receive something now it seems that uh, there is something here I forget. I have to go to DNS and see what are the names of uh, I go to DNS Where is DNS? Right, it is here And see what are yeah host 4. So I go back again to host 5 and then um, I should compose host 4 host 4 at dev dot com hi and I will use the hello word this is a sentence we use in uh, delicate situations so I send it right so send is successful the send is successful very good uh, so now let me just go to host four uh, email receive ah, I receive it hi yeah today so this is the date now I open it hello world so you see now this message for I, I was in host 5 so I was able to connect to the web server to the mail server sorry on this on this machine outside on the outside network and from here uh, host 4 was able also to connect to the mail server on this machine to get the email so there is a safe communication there is no it's, it's no problem everything is working fine so let's try for example i go to the to the web server well the web server actually i can use it as a client why not uh, i go to the browser and from the browser i try to access um, a web server on the dmz now in order to make a difference you know the message we should see uh, a different web page go right you see this is the web page on the DMZ this is the web page which means that I'm accessing this web server on the DMZ zone now I go to the email uh, server on the email server I try also to uh, access the web server using HTTPS on the, D on the DMZ but this time I have to use the public IP address so I don't have the right to use a private IP address from outside you see now it's successful now let's go to host 3 and from host 3 I have to do something I have to access uh, the FTP server which is at 10.22.22.1 now uh, the username for example I can type Cisco the password uh, well the mode here is passive all right I turn off the passive mode type directory so you can see all the files because there is another story with FTP whether it's active mode or passive mode this is another topic but here we have to be very careful uh, like in this mode when I turn off the passive mode I'm just instructing the FTP server to open TCP connection and port 20 to uh, the host which is requesting the FTP session so now everything is working fine I can go to the other mail server from outside and use go to command prompt 
and uh, try to FTP to 196 because I cannot use 10.22.22.1. I use the, the global or public IP address, right? Well, it's connecting the username, the password. I turn off the passive mode. Well, it works. That's very good. I hope this series of videos are very helpful to you. Uh, I would rather uh, expect any suggestion and feedback. Please welcome and feel free to send me your comments on this. I would like to thank you for um, viewing my video. Uh, this is Hakim Adish. Bye.